Hi there, this is the Tokonomist. This is the kind of AMA weekly update video. It's a little bit later this time, it's about a week and a half, but I wanted to do one before Christmas when, uh, well, no one else is doing any videos, so I'm gonna do one and give you an update, what I've been up to, where I've been, why I've been sort of busy with my head down for the last sort of week and a half or so, and just to keep you all informed, ready? So let's go to the intro, and then uh, you'll see my lovely face in a moment. This is the Tokonomist. Right, welcome back. This is the update. Where have I been? What have I been up to? And this is what we're going to talk about, really, before Christmas. The house is kind of noisy. I've had to keep doing this filming because my wife's singing Christmas songs and you can hear it. Uh, so I've been a bit longer than normal, about a week and a half or so. I have dropped in a few little videos. I've been working on two things in particular. So let's just cut to the chase of what those are now. One is a proper video, Immutable X versus Solana. I just tried to do one before, it just needed a lot more work to it, I needed to present things better, and I wanted to give both case points, examples of, of, of each different platform. I'm gonna share that on YouTube sooner, I'm gonna put it into a link in Twitter, but I'm actually gonna put it on the Discord, and when the Discord is open, which it hasn't been yet, and I'll get to that in a second, um, people can watch it and then vote on it, and we'll leave that running for a few weeks just to get some kind of idea. And I know I keep going back to this, but I think it's very, very critical. I keep using Radium as a Solana platform. I probably know what I would use right now if it was me making the judgment call, purely me, I know what I'd go for. And I think that's pretty obvious. It's getting up, getting obvious now. But also I don't wanna do something that's against people's uh, views and wishes. So we'll get some inspiration on that one and I will share that. And actually I'm gonna just show you, um, let me just share my screen. All right, let's go. Hi, I'm the Tokonomist. I'm the founder of the Guaymelin's NFT project. You can call me Mason. And in this video, I'm going to present to you a case for Solana and Immutable X for minting an NFT project on. I'm going to show you the pros and the cons of both. And at the end of this video, you can jump into the Discord, jump on the polling channel, and you can vote for which one you like most. Let's go to the intro. This is the Tokonomist. So, this is my slightly better. I did. I wanted to make a better quality video. There's graphics, animations. It's a bit more engaging, and I think it would do a better job of what I was trying to do. So there's that. Um, quickly on Discord, I wanted to put the Discord live about a week or so ago, and I thought I had found someone who knew how to do the reward-based system where you can incentivize people who can um, share people and refer people in a way that is a currency. In a way that and people, some people made some really good suggestions. All those people who gave suggestions and 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 the way they'd kind of seen something similar. Thank you for doing that. Um, sometimes we're all guilty of letting being great be the enemy of good. And that means I try and do the best thing in the world and not doing something that could do a job. Now, uh, I will probably take on board the suggestions because I've been hoping to find something that was the great solution, which was where you are rewarded for referring people, but you're also rewarded for referring you're also, you're rewarded for referring people, but you're also rewarded if the people that you refer, refer people. And you're also rewarded when they keep coming back in on a daily basis, so it stops this bot system. That's the problem with all the, the, the ones out there now. They're very easy to fix by bots. I explained before, I paid someone on Fiverr to give me bot signups for whitelist. Um, so that's the flaw on that one, but maybe it'll work. Maybe we'll just do it anyway. But we thought we'd found someone who could do it and, um, it's harder than they'd hoped. So that's a problem. Um, it wasn't gonna be a cheap solution either. So but I, I've mentioned before I'm selling a property and that's what was funding this. Um, but actually, as it turns out, they can't do it. So that's so that's why I haven't done that. I wanted to do it in the right way. Um, I have also been mindful that great projects can, can, can sell out any time. I'm not stupid. The volume of OpenSea currently is one tenth of what it is in August. The volume of Solana is about one tenth of what it is. The market is a lot quieter. Uh, is everyone waiting for Coinbase NFTs? Is everyone waiting for, I don't know what it is. And you've only got to remember, back in September, October, when everyone was buying NFTs in, a, in big droves and everything was selling out, no matter what it was, and people were buying stupid things like Raccoon Secret Society and in selling out, and then everyone who bought one got rugged. Um, <laughs> No one cared about altcoins. No one cared about altcoins. It was just dead. Binance was dead on my Binance wallet. I wasn't even looking at it. Now I'm looking at my Binance every single day. I don't look at my NFTs every day. We're all the same with it. The difference is whether or not you can just hang on to these things. Fortunately, I'm able to because I've seen 
the markets go up and down a lot. But um, so we there is phases, there is fads. I think DeFi is coming back for, for New Year. I mean, the DeFi protocols are all currently finding ways to rejig their tokenomics to make them appealing again. Uh, the ones on Ethereum chain are offering terrible deals for people in permanent losses, destroying the value of holding them. The staking cost, Ethereum gas on on Ethereum um, layer one DeFi protocols, the DeFi 1.0 as people refer to them as, they've had a terrible time. So um, I use Radium on, on, on Solana. It's very cheap to do and it's, yeah, it's easy. So I think you get these peaks and these troughs. So I think I've been kind of hesitant to go, look, I'm not rushing. And I spent many years of my life looking at my mobile phone. I think I might have mentioned this before. I lost my I lost my parents in 2017 and 2019. Uh, so my dad went first and then my mum died about a year and a half later. Both died of cancer um, and too young, really. Um, in the 60s, they got cancer. So you know, weren't, didn't get to any old age. Um, and I kicked myself for spending my whole time trying to grow a business and looking at my phone and not looking at my family. And I told myself not long after that, probably a bit too late, I don't need to make you know tens and tens and tens of millions. I need to have a comfortable life, and I want to be able to do all the things that I want to do. But you, time is a is is a value. Time is money, and time is one of the rarest commodities we have. We're the only it's, it's, we don't get much of it. So um, I don't need to rush Discord. Um, if someone still someone steals the idea, or someone executes my idea of creating a DAO VC focusing on investing in metaverse and innovative projects for people outside of normal places of capital you know people who got criminal records people who come from bame communities those kind of things um if they do that and they do it well then i'm not angry because they've done something that society needs um yeah it'd be cool to be the one you did it and i know for, for nft collectors it's kind of like no don't be like that uh you know you, we, we want to be able to get yours and flip it and i get that i, I understand that um, but i don't want to be a prisoner to a project. Now, if you do an NFT project and you have no utility and you've raised a couple of million and you've added no value and everyone's hounding you in Discord, well, you deserve that because you've taken a couple of million dollars, you've offered nothing, you've done nothing except for wishy-washy promises and flimsy roadmaps. Um, you've earned, they've earned, they've paid the right to treat you like a prisoner. Uh, when you haven't yet launched a project, when you haven't sold out, when you haven't done a mint yet, and you're spending your money out of your own pocket, I don't want to be that person who becomes a slave to a project at this stage. So that's why. But actually, there's there's one other thing. So so on that. So when is when Discord? Okay. Um, probably in January. Uh, I say probably in January. Um, I think there needs to be. I'm I, I'm waiting for a bit more interest in the market. Um, but I'm actually waiting to finish something, and I'm going to get to that now. I don't want Discord to start until I've done a beta version of what I'm about to show you. Um, and I'm gonna to explain to you what this project is and why it benefits you. And I think that will cover it. Um, so we've talked about the Solana of Image of Elect video. I'm gonna put that on YouTube later on. So that'll come probably about a day after this. I might put it on Christmas day, a little surprise. I'm about to sneeze. Um, hang on, this is fun, watch, me, watch a man sneeze. And I'm going to talk to you about Discord, done that. So we've had issues with the trying to get the system I wanted. So that's what's held it back. But I don't want to become a slave to it. And I want to have something that there's meat on the bones for people to get involved with very early on. Because there is only, there's me, there's my mate uh, Grinny, who's helping me with the artwork side of things. Uh, my cousin, uh, Anthony, is working on is a, is smart contracts. Um, so I'll be sort of representing them soon once we've got all of our ducks in a row but I kind of want to have everything ever lined up and then go right bang this is it I haven't got a faff about with background contracts and smart contracts as much and I won't have to faff around with art pieces I want everything lined up so then we can just crack on and talk about what the project will do not the project not what the project has to do um, there'll be bits and bobs we have to do like setting up DAO systems and snapshot systems but that's future stuff but I want to get all the things that need to happen in order to do a mint ready so that's that's my explanation. I don't, you know, it's scary, it's stressful, um, and I respect anyone who's gone through this and done this. As you know, I wanted to document this how it is to do it. Um, I find a lot of people. Everyone seems to think that everyone who's setting up an NFT project has money to throw away. Um, they seem there's a lot of people out there who want to take their pound of flesh before you've even made or captured the the prey. And I appreciate you've got to pay people to do work. Of course you have, and you've got to pay them well. Um, 
but there's this kind of idea that like oh money's not a thing and it's like of course it is um so there's that so um let's get to what i want to show you i'm gonna show you a screen and uh, before i do this actually show you the screen this website is nowhere near finished this home page is nowhere near finished the app on the site isn't even is, has barely begun the work on it we're at, so we're at beta stage doing wireframes and all that stuff but if you do find it you'll be able to read what it's trying to achieve but i'm going to explain that as well and then i'm going to get to why i'm talking about it so let me just bring up the uh browser okay right so what you'll see here let's check the audio is working it is you will see a home page with um low quality i, I kind of like the old um courier font but uh it's called clockbox clockbox is a project i've been working on for a while um essentially we've all sold uh cryptocurrencies sooner than we should have done and sometimes all we had to do was hold on to the cryptocurrency. It's why they talk about impermanent loss on DEXs and liquidity farming pools. Sometimes just buying and holding is a more effective strategy. In fact, many of you out there have bought and sold altcoins and flipped around and flipped and flopped. And some of them do really well, but an awful lot don't do well. And actually all we ever had to do was just hold Bitcoin. As boring as that is, just holding Bitcoin sometimes can be all you need to do. Um, I don't know if you've ever got Binance and you're on, on the wallet, it shows you what your um, current holdings are compared to the amount of Bitcoin you can get and I think mine is basically tacked the price of Bitcoin the amount of Bitcoin for a good few months like, what am I doing so anyway so there is that Bitcoin is like a boring ETF buying and holding can be the most effective strategy so what is this Clockbox is a time lock wallet system and a lot of people have tried to do um, these things in the very clunky systems and it's a very simple bit of tech in theory it should be you go on a website and you go, hey, I want to send my son in 30 years time 0 0.05 Bitcoin. It, was it Carl from the Moon says 0 0.05 Bitcoin is all you need to be rich? Okay, I'll send my son 0 0.05 Bitcoin for 30 years, 35 years, okay? Or I don't know, his 40th birthday, whenever. Um, and that will only drop into his wallet if it's a wrapped one, as an Ethereum one, um, on that given date. What will the contract app do? It will take a small percentage, 0.9% or whatever, and that goes into a separate wallet. That's the Clockbox's business wallet. Um, and you know that's essentially it. You connect your wallet and you send any Ethereum token. This is just stage one. Uh, and I don't want to start Discord. I don't want to do the Mint until you can see the site and you can see me test the site on a video working. Um, why? Okay, right, so the whole point of the project is to create VC style operations, ventures, do fun things, invest in things, blah, 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 blah. Let's, let's prove the model, okay? Um, so this is uh, a concept I've worked on. Um, the project will create or will have governance token. This governance token will be airdropped to holders of the Gwamelands NFT. And probably will be airdropped in a few drops. So first drop, snapshot to not be told as and when you have to hold it and you'll get it at some stage you know, you know it's not going to be ages it's going to be pretty soon so thank you for investing in the project then there'll be another one at a given moment at a certain point down the line to reward people for hanging on and staying in the community when i'm going to tell you why would i tell you um so there's that now that token is going to be able to be um, using I probably we use off chain this is where i need advice so this is why i want to kind of get the beta of the system working and then i want to start finding some heads in the group to actually get on board and help and so we'll have a community that a channel that talks about the clockbox vc project we'll have a channel that talks about uh, i'd like to put some money towards a gaming guild investing in those things that's why i reached out to on twitter and said has anyone got an interest on there those who did come back to me you know, I want you to run that, run with it, you know, and we can sit and as, as a community, you can go, right, this is what we've worked on, this is what we come up with. We think we, you know, we could do with an investment of X amount for this project. Then the whole community votes on it. So you lead it and, you know, there'll be rewards for doing those things as well. It could be financial rewards, it could be fun rewards, community could decide all of these things. So I'm going to start need to build, once the Discord's open, uh, a, a kind of a council of elders or account, whatever it is. A community focus group community leaders uh, but I want some things to get the meat, meat into the teeth into the meat on and just talking about things isn't isn't very helpful so this is going to be my my kind of contribution uh, coming up with the idea I'm going to keep some of the tokens I'm going to keep about 20% all right um, then about 30% will go to the the Gwamelands so the so Gwamelands as a community will get more tokens than I have 
the remaining 50% of the tokens, and this is a loose number at this stage, I'm not gonna walk back from this going like in a way that's gonna benefit me more. We would, we would as a, as a group walk around it and go, right, what's, what's the best way of doing that? There may be a case of dropping an amount for me now, me in the future, an amount for you now, an amount for you in the future, so on and so forth. When I say me and you, like I, I'm just trying to make it easier to understand it. But we keep an amount of tokens either in the clock box treasury or just not issued yet, again, depending on the best way. And is this a layer two token? Depending on the best way. Um, we do that so we can then raise more capital for that project in the future. And it makes the value of the project bigger. That could be money spent on marketing, it could be um, new implementations, new APIs, whatever, new development, etc., etc. rewards, giveaways. Now, how? what's gonna be the value of holding this token? Well, one, you can take part in participation, it's decentralized, that's important. The second one is, for participating, a share of the profits from the transactions, the gross profits from the transactions, Will be dropped into a probably another wallet, and it will be paid out as dividend as rewards, almost like a raffle, a lottery. But it will probably be a one of one lottery. So what that means is you have a you have a one in one chance of winning. Um, so in the UK we have a thing called premium bonds, where you buy I don't know a bond for the government, you lend them money, and you have a chance of winning. And it works out that you should win sufficiently that you get a yield annually about two percent. Crap, isn't it? Right. Well. Um, but it's, you know, you pretty much, it's not guaranteed, but you pretty much get that. So I guess the same token is how to do that for this project where we airdrop, not, um, you know, your, your rewards don't have to be clock box tokens. They could be USDC, okay? They could be magic internet money. Why? It's like fucking cool, isn't it? <laughs> the magic internet money, stable coin, um, Terra Luna, whatever. A low gas cost airdrops token is the whole point. Um, so then everyone can earn a share of the profits. That's the benefit of holding the token. You get a dividend essentially, um, formed as a as a lottery. How do we stop that? How do we make sure that everyone does get something and someone doesn't get more? Well, we can do that. We can we can snapshot. You know, if if recipient earned in last thirty days, exclude. You know that kind of thing. There's there's ways to make sure everyone equal equally earns. But that's my thought. Is a percentage of the um, of the revenue of the time lock wallets goes to the governance staking clock box token holders, who you will be if you're a Gwenland's NFT holder. Well, until you sell them, and you can sell them on something like Sushi uh, or another platform we can set up. Now, do we do it on? Uh, and initially, this will be done on Ethereum. This particular uh, project, the coins don't have to be on Ethereum. They could be on Polygon. They could be on you know, Mutable X. They could be on Solana. They could be on fucking another one cardano whatever um so that's what i want to do um now there's a lot to think about there um at this stage i'm just trying to make sure the system works now when we're, we're about four weeks away from having a working evidenced system that you can see now i'm going to then get an amount of money it might just be 0 0.01 ethereum whatever and i'm going to send it to myself with a one day break and i'm going to send it to myself with a two day break and so on and so forth and I'll film those, and you'll see the video of me doing that. You can play around with it yourself. You know, you want to just test it out with a tiny amount just to go, okay, um, add some testimonials. We can build the testimonials up. This is going to be a community-owned project. You know, the Gwenlands as a community is going to own this more than I'm going to own it. Um, I'm going to own a small percentage, but a good percentage if it does well. So that's cool for me. That keeps me engaged, and that's why I'm contributing in. Um, but by airdropping additional future tokens to the Gwenlands holders, there's an incentive to hold onto the token. But this is the other thing as well. Um, I would love to find a way that obviously people don't just sell those tokens, um, and they could be they could be things that they could be vested and they could come after a certain time. Um, I think it's kind of cool if you just get them into your wallet and you can see them. Now this could be a thing that, that does well, and this could be worth money beyond you know in terms of speculation price. But the more there are of you holding Gwemlins, playing around with this, talking about it, you become brand ambassadors. And this proves the point of a community value if we have an engaged community because now hundreds of people would know about Clockbox. If hundreds of people know about Clockbox and hundreds of people start using it, and they go, it's actually kind of cool. I've got, you know, I just put a small, like, you could put tiny amounts in there. There's a bunch of FAQs already in the actual, what we're trying to do for Clockbox, you know, and we can, I can talk about those now. Um, can I get a refund? No, code is law, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, 
But um, and it's, it works the same. You know, if you send someone randomly the wrong, put the wrong wallet details when you send a transaction, it'll be the same. But anyway, um, the more of you know about it, the more that it grows, the bigger the network is, the more it can get used, the more it can earn revenue, and there's other ways it can grow further. And so then we would. Um, be in charge of picking a leadership team behind behind Clockbox. You know, for me, all I want is a time lock wallet that I can use myself. Um, we can grow it further. Brilliant. So that's that's the very first project, and we as a community can play around with this. And this can be us working on one particular project straight away. So there is a light at the end of the tunnel. You can see straight away. Hey, look, here's a project that we're going to own as a community. Uh, we're going to be airdrop decentralized tokens, and we're going to we're going to make mistakes with it, and we're going to learn with it, and um, hopefully we make money with it. Um, and it's going to be a worthwhile venture. And hey, you know, if this grows, then that's more money going into the treasury pot for Greenlands to invest in other things as well. So, um, or you know, whatever. Because obviously, of course, we want to make sure the Greenlands earns the treasury pot. You earn money for holding the tokens. Um, we, can, we can work out a way for the Greenlands can benefit as well. So, I don't have enough brain space to be able to deal with all these different things. So, I'm going to need people to jump on board. So, that's when Discord. But let me get this done first. Um, let me get this straight. We've got a four week uh, route to getting this done. I will do more updates on this if you find this interesting, if you want to know more about this. Um, and that's about it, really. I think I won't keep you any more than that. I just wanted to be candid. You know, I've struggled a little bit lately where there's been a lot less interest. Um, I found even on my own Tokonomous Twitter that started growing quite well and then it just started to slow down. Now, I've had a lot of work over the last few weeks. I've now knocked work on the head. For the next month or two because I want to focus now on this so that's um, another thing I could be doing so which is good um, I had kind of a, a date that I set yesterday but that's it I'm gonna not not work for a while now um, I'm gonna work on my own projects I do a lot of external work for other people particularly sort of UX audits and getting their sites ready for Christmas and Black Friday um, but I want to spend some time on, on things that I care about now so um, more of me and I hope you understand really. Um, if you are gutted and you, you, know, you wanted to see Discord sooner, I appreciate that. I'm you know, flattered. But I also want to be able to make sure that I can give you a working project and I can give you something to go, okay, cool. And so again, if someone steals the idea and comes in sooner, they do. But the reality is, is I don't, I could, be, I could be completely wrong and this afternoon everything could change. I look at the floor as if that's the calendar and the NFT market could go wild tomorrow. But I think what I have seen with NFTs is there are some great projects out there. You look at like Sappy Seals with their Pixelverse. They're doing amazing things and they're just not getting the credit for it. The price has ticked up a bit, but they're still not getting the credit they really deserve in comparison to other projects. You know, you've got Winter Bears with a really nice community. The general chat is not gated. And I think that says a lot about their community. And you've got Crypto Dads who started to improve their engagement with their, with their audience. Um, I'm loving some of the stuff they've done where we're backing the um, the crypto fan cast and things like the right click savers they're called now. Um, the game stuff they're putting out there, the teasers of that's pretty cool. There's a lot of projects doing stuff and I think the next phase now of NFTs is NFTs that are doing things. So I don't want to just be another project that says it's going to do something but not actually have anything yet. So I want to make sure that when that wave rides that we've actually got something and we're one of those projects. So. Um, Anyway, I'll make sure you can all see the video for the Immutable X Solana video as well. That'll be on YouTube. I'll share it on Twitter link. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. It's Friday. Shabbat Shalom. Um, take care.